Hello guys, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing about script actions. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, first of all, I want to share this website. This is ServiceNow Spectaculous. This is my website. So in this, I have presented the topics in a proper way, the way any learner want. Okay, so what is script action? Why we are using it? Few examples. Then script options, then how to write script in it, what all objects are available and some important interview questions. So please go through this website and let me know if you like it, any suggestions from your site. Okay. So first of all, what are script actions? So script actions are basically simple scripts which get executed only after an event is triggered. Okay. So once an event is triggered, that script action which is associated with that particular event will get triggered and the most important thing about script action is that it runs in the background that is it runs asynchronously so the process is like this you have registered an event then you have triggered the event by any mean let's say by business rule and once the event is triggered script action will get executed so let me quickly give you one demo which I have created this is my demo instance under system policy registry you see my event here let me show you this is my event p1 incident okay so let me open it so this is on incident table fired by business rule and description is created p1 immediately okay so i am triggering this event using business rule so let me open the business rule so this is the business rule on incident table it is running before update and it is running when category changes to emergency okay this is the condition here to execute and then in advance i am just using event queue method you see the name of the event here this is the current object this is my param1 where i am passing current dot number and this is the param2 where i am passing the logged in username okay so this is a simple one and after this i have created one script action so here you see under system policy script action this is my script action create new p1 you see the same event is selected here from event name and this is the small script so just look at the script i am using this function under this function i am just creating a p1 incident the new incident will have short description like this created via event.param1 so param1 is current dot number that is the number of previous incident and then I am setting the category subcategory caller ID I am using this name okay even dot param2 so this is the even dot param2 and then basic insert option so just remember the script action runs at server side and this event object is available in the script action along with the other server side objects like current etc etc so whatever you want to use from the event you have to use event dot then the parameter it means all the fields of the event can be accessed easily by using event dot okay so now this is done now let me show you the demonstration let's go to the incident so this is the incident table let me open one of the incident just see there are total 73 record at the moment so let me update the caller let me change the category to emergency that's what the condition is right here write down test okay simple as that so now if we update this the event should trigger so let me go to the logs you see here this is p1 dot incident it is created okay this is my event so now event is generated okay so now let's go to the incident records this is 73 just reload now you see 74 bingo and open this this is created via inc50 this is inc50 and you see the priority is one so this is how uh, this script action should work whatever you want to write you can write here and it will execute synchronously in the background whenever the event is executed let us know what you feel about it thank you so much have a nice day bye bye